Hello, I'm Dave with RP Stock. We're going to learn how to morph shape layers inside of After Effects. It is going to be a quick tip. It's a simple process, but there is a lot of setup. So we're going to be flying through some of this. I'm going to speed up the uh, tutorial a little bit so you don't have to watch me label things. If we head in to look at this text morph, this is where we're going to learn how to actually make with a simple example. So if we head into this composition I already have set up here, Morph. We're gonna transform from this text into this text, the thinner one here. And in order to do that, we need to take these text layers and create shapes from text. If you just right click on there and it creates shape layers. If you twirl this down into the contents, we got Morph right here. It even labeled all our shape layers. So I'm going to go into the other text that we're gonna transform to and create shapes from text. And that brings that one in too. Click off the view of that one right now. I'm going to hold shift, collect, open all those up. We need to open the contents and find the paths for each one of these shape layers because the paths are going to animate between with keyframes here. So if we get down to the bottom here in the H, click on path, hold down your mouse and just scroll up and we'll select all of those. And we are gonna move a few frames here, 12 frames and head into morph outlines up here. Now, if we do the same thing, Roll this down. I wish there was a quicker way to open up these path buttons. If somebody knows how to do that, definitely let me know in the comments. All right, so we selected all those, hit copy, and you head down here, and we select all the paths, and Command V, you'll see we have created a shape morph. Now that is the simple technique that I used for the rotary phone. Now there are some issues here that you'll notice if we slowly scrub through it. You'll even see how that H over there, you see how this point right here on the bottom moves up to the top left corner and it creates some funkiness here and in order to smooth out this type of animation let's just clear out all these keyframes and start again before we start by making any keyframes we are gonna head into uh, point mode here and right click and you want to set the first vertex for each one of these layers so the layer knows where it's going so this first point knows that it's going to the first point you set on the other one and just remember where your first vertex is for when you do it to the other one or around the same area. It'll just make for a cleaner animation. And then you have to go up to this layer here and do the same thing. Now I am on the pen tool here. I use G to get to that. And if you need to select a point here, you just hit command and then just kind of do a bounding box. Almost there. See, this is the tedious part of, it's a lot of setup, but the results look cool. If you take a little bit of time and work through it, you'll get a great animation. Okay, now we're just going to do the same thing. Click on the stopwatch, scroll down. We can scroll down through all these and we'll head up to the top layer and just highlight these keyframes. Command C, head a few frames down here and we just need to select all the paths and then command V and we have got a morph and that looks way better. If I close this so we can loop it here, you see how the first vertexes are going to where they should be going. And it's a little bit of a smoother animation. Now you can offset these keyframes and do whatever you want to customize the animation. Okay, so now we learned how to make text shape layers morph. How in the heck do you make illustrator files like this morph together inside of After Effects? Let's do it. We'll head into this composition I already set up here and these illustrator files I made. So we got the cell phone here and we've got the rotary phone here. How did I get these into shape layers? Funny you should ask. I used a script called Explode Shape Layers. You can find this on ascripts.com. It's an awesome script. It's, it's $30. Not that much. It takes a lot of the trouble of doing, uh, converting an AI file into shape layer. So all you have to do is click this button right here and there you go. Look at it. You twirl this down here. You see, we got all the groups. This is where it will take the time. I've got to go through and label these so I know what's connecting to what and see what the shape order is in. Now you can do this without using explode shape layers. In order to set it up, we need to hit G to get the pen tool and click in here so we create another shape layer. Now if I twirl this down, we'll go to shape one here and I'm gonna jump over to Illustrator and this is where our phone is. I'm going to click on the, we're just gonna start with the path so you get the idea of how this works and we'll click the receiver or the earpiece here. Hit command C, copy that and then head back over to After Effects. Duplicate this shape layer here. Now order matters. 
So I'm gonna put shape one up there, click the path to there, the path to there, select them both, and command V. And there you go, you brought it in, but now you have to go through and change the colors and turn off the stroke. And you'll have to go through and go back and forth between Illustrator and After Effects and copy and paste these, but you can bring them in as shape layers that way. I just find this script way easier. All right, so now let's head into the cell phone here and click on the same button. Boom. Some of the things don't translate as well. You know, we have a clipping mask here that's an illustrator. And when we explode it out, it does not uh, clip that path. So my, the workaround to this is I created a circle mat, busted this out into its own shape layer and was able to luma mat that one. All right, now I'm going to go through. We'll start with the rotary phone here because that's what we're going to transition from. I'm going to go through and label these group names so I know what's going on. If we we hit V, you can see what we're selected here. So I'm gonna go through here and rename these. And if you notice here, if I twirl this one on and off, it's just the stroke. I actually don't want the stroke for these coming in here. I don't need these extra shape layers. So you might notice that when you explode them and if you don't want certain things, just delete them out of here. Layer order matters. So think about that when you're doing these shape layer morphs. Now I'm gonna go into the cell phones and do the same thing. Okay, now that we've gone through and labeled all of our group layers here, think of the layer order and how you want them to transform because it all matters. You can break these up into different shape layers and different layers if you need a workaround. And that's what I did in order to uh, map this guy in a circle out. So that all became one separate thing. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this and you can follow along. I think I'm gonna go through and just make the morph transitions and any, I'm not gonna fix the vertexes right now. I'm gonna fix that if there is an issue. So we just speed this process along. All right, I'm gonna start setting these all up. All right, I'm gonna create the guy out of the, the dials here. Okay, as you can see, I've just created the guy turning into the circle here. And everything's great except it's keeping the colors of our dude and we need it to be the colors of the rotary phone. So I'm gonna turn on the phone here. Unsolo the person in the circle. Turn on the phone and just move the phone over to the right here. And so if we head into the fill of each one of these and click the color. And there we go, we got the color transformation going on. I'm just gonna go through and do the rest of these keyframes here so we get the final result. I'm gonna speed right through that. Okay, so we're back. After all that, there was a little bit of tweaking and refining, and hopefully you were able to see uh, what I was doing as you were following along there. It, uh, I think it came along pretty good. So this, to be a quick tip, the tip's quick, but the execution of doing this uh, takes a little bit of time and effort, um, but the results are great. I mean, the same techniques were done for this one. I just ended up animating parts of the, uh, the shape layer to give a little bit more dynamic feel to it. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit from this tutorial. And if you're in the middle of a project and need some stock footage and uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money, head over to rpstock.net and we have uh, thousands of stock footage clips and collections for you to download and use in your projects. But it helps us to support the site and keep the site running so we can create more free footage for you guys. So if you head over to rpstock.net and go into the free download section, you can scroll down and see we have so many free downloads for everybody. And hopefully it helps in your projects and support the site. Thanks a lot. I'm Dave with RP Stock.